Good morning guys, hi. So now we're gonna go for a nice dog walk. We usually do that every single morning so the dogs can have a nice stretch of their legs and we can also get some mangoes. They're ready, I'm ready. Are you ready? Yes. Let's go. Maybe we can find some mangoes. <laughs> mornings are always amazing to go for a walk there's hardly anyone out the dogs love it you get that nice morning sunshine to get you all energized I absolutely love going on these morning walks okay they're awesome you ready to go get some mangoes for breakfast all right, I'm ready all right let's do this walking here the dogs were on the hunt for, for mangoes. mangoes I don't see any mangoes right now did it rain didn't rain last night and usually when it rains I don't see any mangoes anywhere Fall off the tree. so right. I think I think maybe we down might. this block maybe down this block we Let's can find see. something there's a lot of mango Let's trees see. here I hope we find a mango I hope All so right. I hope we find like 10 some mango trees we don't like to take them off the tree we try to find them off the floor well, we usually go to houses that we see that they're rotten that they're we rotten find the, the mangoes on the floor we don't look for rotten mangoes either <laughs> right we look for the mangoes that recently fell and the earlier you come out the better chance you have of finding one yes Today we had an unsuccessful hunt for mangoes. No mangoes today. It's all right. Hopefully it rains. Hopefully it's really windy. The windier, the more mangoes we get. in our chlorophyll we usually drink nice chlorophyll to get our nice oxygenated blood again we're gonna be doing the mangies for the breakfast and we also have a piece of garlic clove that we drink raw so we cut it up into nice little pieces so you're just gonna be seeing me getting our little morning routine ready guys enjoy your morning it's a beautiful day here in sunny Florida and I hope it's nice where you guys are at bye
So we got two amazing mangoes. This was a little soft, so I'm going to have to cut it. Do you guys know why mangoes usually have nail marks in them? I'll tell you why. Because they're hard to peel. So you kind of have to put your nail in so that when you peel it, it doesn't start slipping like it slipped earlier and this one kind of fell. But this one, when it fell off the tree, it's a little soft. So I can't get this part. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to cut it with a knife and I'm going to take it out. And then whatever part is soft, we usually don't eat. Our scraps are here. It's not too much, but it does uh, a really good, nice filler for our compost bin. We have a nice compost bin and a nice garden that we are creating in the backyard so that we can grow like our own veggies and stuff. Uh, because at least we know where it's coming from. At least we know that it's in our backyard. We do have stuff growing. We have mangoes. I'll show you guys. We have mangoes. We have soursop. We have pineapple. As a matter of fact, this pineapple right here came out of our yard. Now, the only problem with me is that I think I took it out too prematurely. I didn't I didn't YouTube and find out um, how they're supposed to look before you take them off. So I kind of took them off green. And then living in South Florida, we have a nice mosquito um, population. I like to keep my door and my kitchen open, that one right there, because I love to see the pool and I love to have my dogs come in and out. So we'll have mosquitoes inside. Oh, look, and I caught it. Caught the mosquito. Oh, I'm so awesome. But um, so we have to just wait till it gets golden. Um, it's almost there. You see how nice and, and red it's getting in the bottom. Once it gets there, I'm going to chop it up and you guys get to see. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these scraps. I'm going to cut them into smaller pieces so it doesn't take that long for them to decompose in the in the compost bin. And I hope you guys are enjoying a fun day in the life of the Millows. finalized cutting the mangoes and this is the nice batch that we got um, as you can see this little mangoes got hit and it's nice and ripe so what I like to do is give it to the boys the boys love to eat it hubby loves this soft part so this is the pepa that's what we call the pepa this one had a little bruise there there but we were able to cut around it and we might be able to eat this but this was gonna be honeydew sweet and this one's gonna be a little bit um a little bit on the on the on the sour side. Now this is what happens when they fall off the tree. They get like this soft mushy uh, inside. It tastes good, but then it kind of tastes like puree. So sometimes we eat it, sometimes we don't. But uh, today I'm gonna take it out. But these guys right here, after we get this, what I like to do is I like to put some salt. So we're gonna go ahead and make them salty, and this is gonna be the breakfast that we're gonna have salt pink himalayan salt we try to use um as natural as possible so that our bodies can absorb nutrients um we don't use any any salt with iodine in it what we do for iodine is we eat either kelp or seaweed and seaweed is our go-to choice so that we can keep our nice um, iodine levels where they need to be, or fish, but mostly key, uh, seaweed is what we have. So we put some salt, pink Himalayan salt, in the delicious mangies, and now I'm gonna try one because the chef always gets to get a bite first. Mmm, sweet and delicious. All right, boys, come on. Now, one of the things that I love the most about this pandemic is that I actually get to have breakfast at a slower rate, and I get to hang out with my boys in the morning, all of us for breakfast and for snacks and for things like that. So right now, we're gonna transition to the outside where we have a nice sitting area, and we're gonna have some breakfast among nature. Good morning, guys. So now I'm here with my boys, and we're going to enjoy some mangoes. Guys, have fun. Enjoy. 
we're out in nature having a nice time and follow you what did you like to say anything wash your hands kids eat your vegetables and stay home and stay safe <laughs> all right guys we're enjoying these mangoes bye all right guys now it is time for breakfast and we're gonna be having some spinach we have spinach every day because we need to be able to get all the nutrients and you know what guys spinach has the most nutrients like universal like it has vitamin a b c i don't, I don't know but i know that it has what i need so i can keep my anemia and all my blood in check so i can be nice and strong when we go do some workouts and it helps the boys and it keeps us up and going so you're gonna watch me make some breakfast able to do breakfast in less than 10 seconds so we have some spinach did you guys see how much I threw in there I threw about five cups of spinach and that's what you get from five cups and we have some delicious eggs yeah guys we like to start our morning off with a good protein good carbs so that it could give us strength throughout the whole day So yesterday we trained, uh, we did the 100, the 100 challenge. challenge, and today, since our muscles are kind of sore, we're thinking about what to train next. What do you think we should train? What do you think well, we should do? Well, I think we should do full body. So we have to train. I don't think anyone wants to, but we're going to get this shit done because it doesn't matter. There's no days off. That's right. No days off. All right. So today we're going to be training martial arts. Martial which is, arts, guys. Which is right down my... That's right, down my yeah. alley. I know exactly how to yeah. do that stuff. So we're gonna get martial arts training today done. All right, here we go. Let's get this done. Get a little bit of this. Let's get some uh, hydration. I got my Eno Explode. A little bit of pre-workout. Should be dope. All right. I got my Water Explode. Water Explode right there.
that was the warm up. Okay, warm up is done. Right, we loosen up those hips. We loosen up the lower body, the upper body. We loosen up the punches. But if we're gonna be doing karate training, this is what it has to get done. That's right? right. So you notice everything we had to do just to start our karate actual traditional karate training. We All right. To get everything warmed up. So That's we right. Didn't hurt anything. That's right. Everything's warmed up. Now we're ready to go. Now we're gonna start implementing some combinations. You are a black belt. I am also a black belt. Let's get it done. All Here right. we go. Alright, what are you going to do now? Beat her up. My, my, my. What do you say? I say I'm just going to do some rounds. What do you mean beat up? He wants to beat me up? As a joke, she's, she's my warm up. She's your warm up for who? Um, so I can fight you. I'm a warm up? Oh boy, this kid's in for a surprise. Watch. We got four minutes on the clock.
You okay? I'm not yeah, going yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going <laughs> <laughs> I told you she was my mom. All right, so now it's my turn, right? He took mommy out with a punch to the body. She was taken out. Now it's my turn.